want to be your muse. Muse, Webster, first definition, used as a noun. Any of the nine sister goddesses in Greek mythology presiding over song and poetry and the arts and sciences. The sisters gave artists, philosophers, and individuals inspiration for creativity and enhanced imagination. Hmm. Second definition, a source of inspiration. Yes, I, I want to be your muse. Michelangelo had one. Some artists have one or two. And some even have one of each kind. But others argue that you should neither need or have one. But no one seems to mind when they look at what supposedly having one enables you to do. I'm sure you could put one to good use. So I want to be your muse. Denzel Washington's character Bleak had one in Mo Better Blues. But it wouldn't have mattered if it were his side piece Clark or his girlfriend Indigo, who later became his wife, were the muse. Not that one's muse can't be their spouse, because they can. But the point is, he had one and they come in all shapes and sizes and genders, all colors and varieties, with a big or round or tiny caboose. Take a page out of history, my dear, and just let me be your muse. I want to be that bang that ignites your passion, you know, what inspires you to paint better, draw better, write better, ah, oh, heck, do whatever better. Just let me be your muse. I practically pay to be the sweet inspiration of your creative contemplations. I'll help your lyrics find your soul and your pen write again with a sense of desperation. I want to be the sacrifice upon your altar of pleasure and passion. I want to be the willing victim of your merciless carnal cravings. And you can have me all day, all night, or whenever and whatever seems right. Just let me be your muse. Some say Salvador Dali painted about his in the beautiful portrait of Gallerina. And Pablo Picasso, he did the same thing in the intriguing illustration of The Weeping Woman. But then I heard that Neil Diamond thanked his muse for the biggest hit in his career. And then he said he didn't even know her personally. And Carly Simon supposedly wrote about hers in the song, You're So Vain. But I don't want to be just a groupie. And I'm not interested in being a side piece. I'll pass and say no thank you to being just an overnight treat. I'll be no passing fancy or flash in the pan. That will never do. I'm meant to be more to you. I'm meant to be the amber that burns hot, red hot inside your flame. I'm meant to be that drop of rain that reminds you that winter is over and it's the first of spring. I'm meant to be the wind that lifts your sails and pushes you up and over the highest wave you've ever seen. Just let me be your muse. I'll be that feeling behind why you added the minor 7 chord or the reason you felt the song had to have a funky, driving beat. 
I want to be why the lyrics to your double platinum chart topping song get so tastefully nasty. Why your pulsing bass riff sounds so sexy. And why people can't get out their feet as they dance their butts off to your latest beats. Oh, I'm not trying to be confusing or abstruse. Go ahead, give in to it. Give in to me. Just let me be your muse. And when your imagination hits a wall, I'll fan your slowly cooling ashes into a bright and roaring flame. I volunteer to be your love slave, and you can be my one and only lover. We can make babies and call them art and science or already inside. But please don't hold it against me if you think I'm being blunt and obtuse. Just let me be. Just let it be me. Just let me be your muse. The acclaimed artist, Rodin, had one. And they even named a museum after him in Paris. So just think of what you could do if you had me as one, too. One hundred years later, your work of art or science would one day speak of the greatness drawn from you, sparked by the heat and the fire of your muse. Wear me out, use me up. Strike me like a piece of flint when you can't find a match. Grab me firmly and rub me sternly until you get a creative spark. Then pleasurably misuse me, but don't abuse me, and don't abandon me to disuse. Use me every day, in any way. Just let me be your muse. And on your off days, when it seems your talents have all fizzled out, shuffle through a deck of cards, to find your way past the Queen of Doubt, past the Jacks and the Jokers. And you'd be looking not for a king or a queen or an ace. You'd be looking for a me and a you, a deuce. Just let me be your muse. Your kingdom come. Your victories won. Your mansions plural, built with a heated infinity pool to bask in in the winter sun. But when it's all said, built and done, I want to be the one that inspired the greatness in you to run the race that you won. Just let me be your muse. For everything that you touch, every skyscraper, you build every medical cure you find or formula you perfect for each Nobel Peace Prize wrapped around your beautiful neck. Every masterpiece you mold, shape, or paint as the masses through the ages in silent awe stand or faint. My credit claim, whether or not a single person would ever know my name, is that your great work of art or your fantastical technological wonder would merely reflect this passion designed for your private use drawn from lips that destiny appointed to ripen your talents and serve you as your use mm. so whatever you dream or whatever you paint when you feel that you can, and you are, but everyone else says, you ain't. If it's you and me alone that believes in your dreams, or the house that you've built falls apart at the seams, or should the very foundation upon which you've built start to tilt and feel more like sinking sand or a noose? Lover. Lover, just close your eyes, relax, 
and just let me be your muse. Bye.